What is up ladies and gentlemen welcome back to my channel my name is Alien Oxy and today guys we're going to be reacting to the final episode of Attack and Titan um, that's season 3 part 2 of course now we'll just head up I will kind of I know I mentioned at the end of my last video uh, I just want to say I'm going to apologize about the quality of that last video um, there wasn't really much to go on with it wasn't much I felt to react in that episode um, and that episode was just more so about foreshadowing rather than anything else so, yeah, I kind of react to a few things. I've tried my best to kind of react to certain scenes. I didn't feel personally happy with that episode. Now, it's still, I'm gonna, it's still up there. You can still watch it. Um, it does, I didn't, I feel that the foreshadowing wasn't something you can really react to in terms of like, yeah, yeah, if you like, oh my God, I didn't realize this. But in terms of that, it wasn't jam packed. But nonetheless, it was still a great episode. Yeah, enough of the chit chat, guys. Without further ado, guys, let's jump straight into episode 10, the final episode of season 3, part 2, and that is Attack on Titan. So let's do this. Yeah, there we go. First, The ocean. Finally did it. <笑>ポイズンスとメスのシーソー。<笑><笑> ああ。すっげえ広いな。
向こうにいる敵全部殺せば俺たち自由になれるのかあ<笑>あ So we finally did it. It took me maybe four months or more to get to this part. Sorry about the attic,、uh, the echo. It took me four months to get here. When everybody two months ago had this probably done, and I'm like, talk about being slow to the party. But anyway, look, I felt that episode was great. I think that was a perfect end of the episode to end off season three, part two. The emotions were running high in that. We've seen this with Flotch, who let his opinion be known, and he admitted he was a coward. And that's, that's usually a sign of bravery, is admitting to something. It's admitting to you that you are a coward, but you, you still have a right to opinion. That's what it means to be human, that's what it means to be alive. Everybody's allowed to have an opinion. And I really like that human emotional touch to it. And we've seen this again at the end of it,、uh, where、uh, Armin. Mikasa and Eren, their emotional sides that are shown. They smiled for like the first time, which was a proper smile. Eren, obviously, his mind was set what was over the ocean. That was to kill all the enemies that were going to kill them in order to be free. But I do like that.、Uh, we still see Levi, even when he was at the beach, still being Levi. I'm not interested, let's go back.、Um, that's just typical Levi. But I do like the fact that I did call out the minute he touched Royal Blood. He'll spark like a reaction of our memory.、Um, and I think, I don't know, it was weird when Historia touched the paper and she had the flashbacks as well. So I don't know if, if there's, I don't know if there's, if she is as some sort of founding powers within her. I don't know. But that's just kind of, it just felt too weird. It just, the connection I was making, she touched a piece of paper and then she had flashbacks. Now I don't know if that was Ymir transplanting some of her memories into it. Or whatever. But it was definitely for Aaron when he touched his story, and that's when the flashback, and I knew I called it. But that episode overall was perfect. I thought the emotions, you know, it was. The emotions were right in order to show what it was like to be human. I thought that episode just touched on it perfectly.、Um, other than that, I am.、Um, Oh, yeah, well, I'll, I'll just jump back to Flotch when he was saying about Erwin, and everybody thought, why was Erwin not brought back? And my point is, and I think it still makes sense to this day, Erwin's goal was to get to the basement. That was it. It was to prove his father's right. He did, in the end, prove his father was right, even though he didn't get to get to the basement. Erwin was right to be brought back. It's not just an emotional attachment with his friends, but. I think Armin is the next in line when it comes to Erwin's、uh, plans and gossip because we've seen this time and time again where Erwin would tell Ar- to follow Armin's plan because Armin would think on the spot and Erwin would like, yeah, we go, we go with it. For example, search the walls. That was Armin's. I think it was right to bring Armin back rather than Erwin and give him the Colossal Titan. It makes more sense than bringing Erwin, whose goal wasn't to be outside the walls, it was just to see it. It was to make it、uh, define. The, the address in the basement, whereas Armin's was more so, I want to be outside the wall, I want freedom, I want to see the ocean. I think overall that was the perfect、uh, reason to bring Erwin,、uh, Armin back.、Um, but overall, that, guys, that was a fantastic、uh, season. I truly enjoyed it.、Uh, sometimes I just found it a bit of a slow, but we get that in some animes nowadays where they do tend to slow it down just to kind of. Slow down the pace to explain things better. But、um, yeah, overall, I thought this at this season, season three, Power One and Two were absolutely flawless. Levi destroying the Beast Titan was probably my best scene I've ever seen in my life on anime. But,、uh, no, guys, that is it. Thanks very much for joining me. Now, again, I apologize by the late, the, 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 the certain laziness of getting to this final episode. But we're there. It's finally out of the way. And again, guys, thanks very much for stopping by. If you liked what you've seen, please hit that thumbs up button. Want to see more of me? Please hit that subscribe button. And again, guys, hit that comment section if you have anything to say. Until then, guys, see ya.